Hey lovelies, if you want to see how I transformed a braiding extension to a bone straight hair, like hard to believe, like seriously, this is for real guys. Just keep watching, like this is an easy way and a new method to getting any braiding extension as silk as possible, like you'll be able to slay effortlessly. Keep on watching guys. So just after getting the right necessary things to use in making this, you want to make sure that you um, create wet for this extension before you can be able to use the treatments that I'll be showing you guys, like showing you what and what to use in order to make a braiding extension as silk as possible as though it's an human hair. So if you don't know how to create webs, this is an easy way to create webs. You want to make sure that you create in the right way. I do see some different methods to creating webs, but this is actually the easiest method. If you haven't seen this, then that is totally fine. This is how to make this. So that is just a slow motion. You just want to put your hand at the back of the thread and then you pick the other side and then just create a knot like so. Like it's just so, so very, very easy. So yeah, I've been, I've been making some researches on how to make any braiding extension as sick as possible in order to show you guys how to slay effortlessly with on a budget without having to break the bank. Mm. So this is definitely something that is within your reach. So guys, I hope you understand that this is one of the easiest way to slay effortlessly. So just keep on watching. Okay guys, now that we are done creating our webs for the braiding extension, we want to make sure that this braiding extension is well secured so that it would look much more like human hair bundles and for this I'm going to use my sewing machine to do this just to make sure that it is as secured as possible and then there will be no reason for the, the hair moving here and there. So I feel like this is the right way to do it since we want it to look more like human hair. So we need to use the sewing machine if you don't have the sewing machine you can you just create a web and get somebody that has a sewing machine to do this for you so guys i'm gonna run this stitch like two times and i'll use the reverse method just to secure the ends in order for the hair not to shed and then when i am done doing that i'm also going to use the brazilian wool guys take notes i use the brazilian wool for um making this wet so that i don't know i just feel like um it works better so yeah so i'm gonna secure that part in order for my weft to be well in place <laughs> so yeah that is just basically it and yeah once you're done doing that you want to use the lighter you can use the lighter to um, just burn the ends of the weft guys please take note when you are using the lighter for this part you need to be very very careful like extremely careful so that you won't end up burning your hand and you know it would just be so so not funny at all so yeah you need to be very very careful so i'm just basically using the lighter just to secure the ends and also just for that other part to burn out any um, hairs that is popping out unnecessarily so yeah that is just basically it so 
So now that we are done securing our webs with the sewing machine, you want to make sure that you use an olive oil because um, it has the heat protectant. It protects the hair from heat because you know we are about to dip this in the hot water. So you want to use it to apply on the extension first. Make sure that you apply it properly before you put it in the hot water. And for the water, I'm using a um, we want it lost for this because I feel like it would make the hair to be silky and then it would make it not to tangle at all. And then I'm using a mega um, growth oil to add also in the hot water. So once you are done with that, we're just going to stir that to make sure that it is properly dissolved. And then afterwards, I'm, I'm just going to dip the extension inside the hot water. And please guys, be careful when you're doing this part because this is hot water we're talking about. So you need to be very, very careful. So guys, the reason why I am doing this is just to make sure that the hair is properly silky. This will prevent it from tangling. If there is any hair that is about to tangle, this will prevent it from tangling. So guys, this is how our extension looks like. So we're just going to leave it to dry. And yeah, this is how it looks like after it has been dried properly. So yeah, so the next thing to do is to use the hot comb. To comb this out and please make sure that when you're using the hot comb make sure that the comb is not so so hot so once you because you know this is um a fiber hair so you want to make sure that you don't end up burning the hair after um so much effort so after that i just used my comb to comb that properly as you can see how even and how nice it looks like trust me guys this is actually what it even if you have to use this hair for a month it is definitely what the money and trust me you can actually use this to create a wig like um, a bone straight wig and slay effortlessly and trust me this is definitely what's it like it is so so worth it like you can't even tell the difference somehow except you touch it <laughs> but anyways guys you understand what i mean i feel like this is what this is definitely worth the money like so if you want to wrap this in a bundle this is basically how to do it you just want to twist it and then i'm just taking my gold strip to um wrap it very well just to make it look like a bundle so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a bit And here is our extension this is so 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 nice like I am so happy this came out really nice and the hair is looking so silky more like a bone straight hair trust me guys this is definitely what it let me know what you guys think about this hair in the comment section thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell so as to get updated when I post new video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye